Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the date value function. So sometimes you might get a file that has a date here and it looks like a date and you're trying to do some calculations on the date, let's say you know days in between some dates and it just doesn't give you an answer and one of the reasons why is the date that looks like a date really isn't in Excel. And one sure way to figure that out is looking at the justification. So if you ever get a file and you have the dates here on the left side, they, they show up left justified, that really isn't a date. That's considered text in Excel. And the sure way to figure out if it's a value and its numbers is if it's right justified. And that's the way that Excel sees uh, dates. Excel sees dates as numbers and it will right justify it. So how do you turn that into a date? How do you turn this text into a date. Let's say you got a file from somebody and everything's over here on the left and really it's text when, when it looks like a date. We can use the date value function and what you can do is just type in date value. Whoops. Just typed in date value. I'll go ahead and select date value and click over here and press enter and it's going to give you back this this string of numbers and basically what it is is it is the way that Excel sees dates as a serial number. This serial number 40,452 really means October 1st 2010 and in order to change that into something that's a little bit more viewable just go into the home tab under general under the uh, under the uh, number f group here under general you can just go ahead and click like short date or long date and once that's selected you will have a date format which you would recognize. Now an extra tip here is if you don't want to add an extra column for date value, let me go ahead and copy this particular set of cells here over to here. And let's say that, for example, I'm going to spread this out a little bit so it still looks like a, a text. So what I'm going to do is use the text to column feature. So if you don't want to have a separate column here to, to figure it out, what you can do is go ahead and go under the data and go under the data tools text to columns and what you want to do is just click on next and we don't really need this here click on next and when we get to the step three here we want to turn it into a date we want to have our column data format as a date when we click finish what it's going to do is it's going to recognize that that text is not text and it's going to make it a date and so now you see it's left justified here so and they're all in different formats so what we can do is we can select that and go back into our home tab and instead of custom make them all the same and send that that has done the same thing as with the date value here so that was just the extra additional tip here uh, in addition to the date value function that you can use to change uh, dates that look like text into dates that are really dates that can be seen by Excel so I hope that helps thanks for watching